Today I'm going to show you some tips for setting up Cortana in Windows 10. In a separate video, I'll show you several of the commands that you can use with Cortana. Let's get started. If you haven't done so already, the first thing you're going to want to do is get Cortana all set up and ready for you to use. I've already got it set up on my system, but I'll show you where you can get it all set up. First, you want to go to the Start menu, find Cortana in the list, and what you'll do is click on Cortana. It'll ask you if you want to use Cortana. Just say yes and follow all of the on-screen prompts. If you would like Cortana to live in your taskbar, so it appears right down over here, what you'll want to do is right click in the taskbar, go up to where it says Cortana, and you'll see different options. You can have Cortana hidden, you can show the Cortana icon, or show the search box. And for me, I prefer the search box, so click on search box. And it's right down here in your taskbar. To turn on the Hey Cortana speech functionality on your Windows 10 PC, you'll want to go into the Cortana settings menu. So go down to your taskbar, right here where Cortana lives, click into it, click on settings, and here are your options. Let Cortana respond to those words. Turn that on. You have the option to keep your device from sleeping when it's plugged in so it can always hear you. You can have it so it responds when anybody says those words or you can have it respond only to you. You can also train Cortana so it only responds when you speak. What you want to do is go down to the taskbar where Cortana lives, click into it, click on settings. I've shown you some of this before. Here you have the options, respond when anyone says, or try to respond only to me. You'll want to click on that option, try to respond only to me. Here it says, learn how I say Click on that. To get started, click on Start. You'll be instructed to read several sentences. Make sure you speak clearly and loud enough for your microphone to hear you. When you've completed this, Cortana will only respond to your voice and your commands. With the latest updates to Windows 10, Cortana can now hear you from the lock screen on your computer. So go back into the settings menu for Katana. And here you'll have the option to use Cortana even when the, my device is locked. So you'll want to turn that on or off. I currently have it set to on. And it also has the option to let Cortana access other functions on your computer like your calendar, email, so on and so forth. So you can either turn that one on or off if you wish. In another video, I'll show you several commands that you can use with Cortana. Some of the responses from Cortana are funny. I'll provide a link in the description of this video. I'm looking for suggestions for videos that you would like to watch. Leave me a suggestion in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video by clicking on the thumbs up icon and subscribe to get the latest tech videos from Tech Gumbo.